Hi, my name is John Harrity. I am a business development specialist here at Standard Electric Supply. I'm very excited today to introduce to you the collaborative robots from Techman. These robots are going to be a game changer here in the United States of America. We're in the early stages still with collaborative robots, but they are already uh, making a huge impact on applications, specifically for assembly, for pick and place, for packaging and automotive. Uh, this space with collaborative robots is expected to grow substantially in the next five years. By 2025, we're looking at 134,000 units being sold in the United States, according to market research, whereas today we're looking at 29,000 units sold. By 2023, the market is expected to be at $4.28 billion. Collaborative robots out of the box are very, very safe. Compared to a typical robot, you do not need to have all the guarding and safety features surrounding the robot. You can enter and work side by side with these robots. You can program them side by side. These are meant to be interactive. So what that means is that if there is a collision or a collision is detected, the robot will shut itself down. Um, these robots in particular from Techman are very advantageous in several different ways. And I wanted to touch on some of those here with you today briefly. Uh, the first advantage with Techman is that they have a built-in vision system. This is going to reduce your time to market. You don't need to add a vision system on separately. You don't need a separate software. You don't need to do the communications piece. These are five megapixel cameras built into the robots. They're color. They can do blob tools. They can do pattern recognition. You can do barcode reading applications. A wide range of applications can be handled with these uh, built-in cameras. The second point with collaborative robots is that these are typically one third the price of a typical robot. Along with being very cost effective, these have a very small footprint. And with the small footprint comes versatility. These are going to be very effective for helping with tedious, repetitive tasks that factory workers would normally have to do manually. These would be very ergonomically unfriendly applications. So these robots can be uh, moved around on a factory floor and reprogrammed with ease. They're powered over 120 volt AC or a DC power, all the way up to 60 volts. The fifth point here is that these are very, very easy to program. Especially compared to other collaborative robots, uh, Techman provides some key advantages. And let me go ahead and demonstrate that for you. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate how quick and easy it is to program the Techman robots. The first thing you do is you hold down the free button and this allows you to move the position, move the robot into a position that you want to teach and you hit the point button. There we go, I just programmed my first point. Second thing to do is move it to the second position and we'll teach it the second point. Teach it a third point. Come over here for a fourth point. And the fifth point. So now to operate the robot, all you do is press the play button. So now the robot, if I hit the plus button, it's gonna increase the speed but you can see the robot is going through all the movements. So now the next thing to demonstrate is how the robot is safe and if it detects a collision, it will shut itself down. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that here. So at any point while the robot is running, if it detects a collision, it will stop moving. Um, it depends on which area of the body it has a potential of hitting, and you can program that in the interface in the settings. Um, and finally, what I'm gonna show you is a little bit on the vision side. So this is something that's pretty neat. What I'm gonna do is hit the play button and run this project, and what the camera is gonna do is it's gonna detect this little landmark. This is called a landmark reassignment. So the camera is gonna come down, look at the, uh, this marker here, and then it's going to reorient its uh, coordinate, its world coordinate system, to be able to go and operate on an object a fixed distance away from the marker. 
So right now this marker is here and I have it programmed to go over to this cup and just perform a small simple operation. I'm going to increase the speed. So all it does is rotate around the cup, as simple as that. So uh, it looks at the marker, goes to the cup. Now, this is what's really neat, is I can take this, this setup here, and what I can do is while it's running, I can move it like this, and it's gonna see that and reorient everything to move with it. Now, um, what's really cool is that it does the angles and it will also do direction. So I'm gonna have it move now to a different location by going like this. And it does all of this automatically. So now if I rotate it like this, I'm gonna de detect that and move over to the cup. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local account manager here at Standard Electric Supply. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.